Welcome back to our brand new video. Guys, so for today's video, I'm really, really excited because I actually got invited to go and meet a facility where I want to say most of you guys is dropped and lower kits come from. And by this, I actually mean the companies that manufacture the lowering and the lifting kits uh, for our mamalonas because I know that some of you guys are going to recognize the company because I actually have worked with this company, except I didn't know that they were located not that far away from me in Anaheim, California. So they are going to be sponsoring a lowering kit for my GMC. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be really, really mad because you guys wanted me to lift it up. But guys, I'm really, really sorry. It's just, I'm not really into, I'm not really into that team. You guys already know me. You're so you're an editor, cut 100%. I have to be in the lower to Mamalona. So this GMC, we are gonna be slamming it. Not too much, or at least that's what I think because siempre así empieza, you know, that's how we always start off. I wanna be dropping, I'm not gonna be dropping or slamming it too much. And I end up putting them to the ground. But I don't think that's gonna be the case for this GMC. And also, I know a lot of you guys saw it coming because, because I came out with some GMC stickers that we are selling for the giveaway as well. And that GMC is dropped and it is on some big black wheels. And a lot of you guys actually like that sticker and are purchasing it. So I decided that we're gonna be slamming this truck. But with that being said, let's go pick up El Compalalo. Although it is an awful day because right now, it's freaking raining. This this freaking California weather has really been driving me nuts, man. It's messing with my schedule and it's freaking cloudy. So it looks really, really dark, but let's make the best of it. So check it out. This is the truck. This is my GMC Sierra. You can move in bed. Right now it's pretty much on stock height in the back. Y enfrente viene teniendo una, un two inch, I believe. Uh, what are they called? Uh, a leveling kit in the front came puso mi compa chinto on the channel i believe i want to say about a year and a half ago by the way don't don't worry about the crease and the bumper we're gonna have to get that fixed because of the towing yamachi on me pinche me bumper it is on crease but i think we're gonna be wrapping the truck and i think we're gonna be fixing that dent but yeah pretty much this is a stock height in the back and in the front it's just a two two inch leveling kit so por eso se mira así. i think it has a good stance it just needs some bigger tires or wheels but to be honest i'm not really into lifted trucks i know a lot of you guys were Telling me to lift it to finally get a lifting to have a lifted tow pick, but it's just no way I'm not So, pretty much, what we're going to be doing is they invited us. Shout out to Max Track Suspension for inviting us to their facility. They're going to be sponsoring us with a 4 6, I believe. Okay, I'm going to see if we can go lower, it could look a lot, a lot nicer. But this is going to be the before video. Look, aquí llegando, llegando, miren. Tienen una Ford. I don't know uh, a lot about these trucks, so I don't know if it's a base model or not. But this is a really nice, uh, shop truck i don't know whose it is pero si llama la atención Miren. so that's really really nice and right off the bat aquí viene siendo la, la compañía max track suspension so let's go in there right off the bat they have a uh, badass kits man we were just talking about lifting the gmc instead this would have been the kit it's for the 2019 and plus gm auto two-wheel drive four-wheel drive this would have been the perfect kit for us and then these are the the spindles it's crazy how they're a lot longer than when they're lowered the opposite yes this one was long as shot actually tall but i like it man and then on this side they do have uh other type of shocks. Yeah, and on this side, on the table, they got the 2021 GM SUV two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive lowering kit. This is what, what we're into. And they got some canvases. I have some trucks they already worked on. Man, the stance is killer. This is, uh, it looks lifted. And they have one more on this side. A Jeep, so it's not just trucks. Beautiful. And over here they do have uh, four links for the Rams 2013 and up. So they got a little different uh, variety. Spindles. Make sure you guys check them out. Now this is where all the magic happens. This is where all the welding is done. We just can't go back there. But once it's all done being welded, they throw it in here. And it gets sent out to powder coat. And it says powder coat picks up and drops off every single day. And then right here's where all the packaging is at. Here's where everything's at. All the spindles, flip kits, struts, everything just packaged. And it said they pretty much never want these shelves on empty. They, 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 they like to keep them stacked up. It's not as big, but man, they make it happen in here. Same thing with this side. Yeah. 
Y ya, no, my dad has a surprise for me. Nos acaba de preparar unas mojarras. Check it out. So you guys don't think I'm lying, made from scratch. Here they're, uh, they're raw. And here they have the flour and all the, the nasty stuff that goes in it. And they got the mashed rice. Man, to be honest, I don't know how my dad does it, man. I give him props. Me, zero cooking skills. My dad, look at this. And then my mom, with the, with the frijoles. Here. So, let's get stuck. We're about to give it a taste of you. Although I already know it's fire, because my dad, it's not the first or last time he cooks it. He's a, he's a beast. He doesn't really cook too often, but when he does, leave me licking my fingers. And these mojarras, you have to, have to eat them and soak them with the patio, man. Oh, mariscos. Mmm. What is spinach, though? All right, guys, so check it out. Honestly, we should have recorded this. Look at all the mess we have. There's all the trash. So we kind of went ahead and opened this off camera. But real quick, I want to go ahead and explain to you guys um, the kit that we got. So starting on this side, we pretty much got the whole flip clip. We pretty much got the, the full flip kit. Here's the rear shots. Uh, and this is crazy. I didn't even know my boy Chinito. This is where we're at right now. He's going to be the one doing the Insta. He told me that, the, that GMC uses dodge ram uh lowering shackles so it's kind of weird you know the ram parts fit the gmc that's crazy but yeah this is pretty much the rear the flip kit the shocks um up here we got the, the front shocks and then uh, they, they gave us uh, a full ton t-notch as well pretty much they hooked us up with the full kit this is the front and then this is the back i believe it goes like that something like that and Here's all the, the bumper stops or whatever they call the hardware. The only bad thing is that I don't think we're going to be using this C notch kit. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and switch it out for an under, underbed notch because I think we're going to be going lower on that truck because this kit is pretty much for a 4.6, 4.7 job and I want to want to go down to like maybe like a like a 5.9 maybe. So I think uh, I don't think this is going to be very helpful. So I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and return this. And see if we can get a hundred pen notch. So we might not install that. I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. Um, and then on this side we got the, the spindles. These things are freaking heavy. Oh, I'm just kidding. But look at this. They look like they're freaking to lift the truck, but it's because the, the newer the newer trucks a lot change. But what you need to explain to me. So these are spindles. Uh, right here is the. Well, this is the another part for the kit kit. They pretty much gave us the full kit for the 4-6 job. And I'm really, really excited to get it done. But also, right before we uh, continue with the video, I want to give another shout out to Max Painting Rods. If you guys don't recognize this company, they're the ones who sponsored us with the turbos on my blue uh, turbo Betty. And went ahead and were able to get some helper bags for the GMC because you guys already know. I'm probably making a big mistake by even lowering that truck because I still use it for towing. But uh, I had to get these badass helper bags because I still am going to be towing and the truck's going to be lower now. So I think this is going to work out very, very well. So they went ahead and sent us a, a full kit as well. Here's the brackets. I think we might have to modify the brackets a little bit because this kit, this kit is uh, for a stock, for the stock truck. And we're gonna be lower, so the flip the flip kit is gonna be being upside down. So we might have to play with the brackets, but we're not too sure yet. We'll see. We'll keep you guys updated. And then here is the. It's pretty cool. This is what makes what's gonna be making all the magic happen. It's kind of like the compressor, I would say. And here's all the. Uh, here's our gauge. Or cool little gauge. You know, here's a switch. And then here's all the, the hardware and the hoses. And yeah, I'm just really excited. They sent us some uh, some little plaques. Shout out to Max Peeing Rods. So I think this is gonna be badass, you know? Our truck's gonna be low, but whenever we wanna use it to tow our can -Am or one of the trucks that'll stay to the shoulders or whatever the case is, we can still just hit that switch and the back will raise up and even out very nice, you know? Regardless, if I didn't get this drop kit, 
I was still already thinking about getting one of these kits because you guys know when I tow, my truck squats nasty. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and leave it up now to my boy Chinito. He's gonna be doing the install. And we'll go ahead and hopefully show you guys in this same video the aftermath of the truck. You know, I might be able, I might stay here a little bit and record some of the, the work. Um, I'll see if we can do that. All right, guys, it's a couple of days later. We finally picked up the truck. Um, we did run into a problem when we were dropping it. But my old stocks, I believe they're 17s, they didn't fit, obviously, because of the spindles and all the bolts and the nuts and all that. So pretty much I had to go shopping and get some 20. So I bought them 20 stocks just to see how they got in. But man, I don't know if I could tell, but just by just by the front end of the truck, look it, look it on the that lip. It's, it's, it might look like, like there's still a lot of clearance, but man, I'm, I'm telling you guys, from the beginning of the video, I told you guys I was in a drop in maybe like a, like a four, six, four, seven. That's not the case, man. We freaking went nuts. We dropped it all we could. Check it out from this angle. There it is. The only thing is, if you guys notice a little bit at this angle, aquí la llanta todavía está like cambered in. So pretty much, I still haven't got an alignment. This is a parte. So I need to go get an, uh, an alignment. And then also, on these other 20s that I just purchased. Fun fact, not only did I buy one set of these rims, but I actually bought two sets. One actually comes with the GMC caps, and another one comes with the, with the Chevy um, um, cap. So when I'm running one and one, it looks a little bit funny. See, this one right here has the, the Chevy. The Chevy, the Chevy cap, and then the one right here has a GMC cap. But I'm gonna go ahead and change the, the cap and put both of the GMC ones so it can all be a full GMC. And then the other set I actually bought, they actually have a small thinner tire. Those are actually going on the on the turbo, turbo truck, but you guys will see that in a later video. But man, look at the stance. Look at the stance, it looks freaking amazing. Um, in the front, I'm running about a five, and in the back, I believe it's around like a, like a eight. You know, and then also we did not install the C-notch here or the underbed notch. Eso es aparte. So I know the truck is running um, really, really bad. It's, 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 it's hopping a lot. The reason is because I still haven't got to my appointment. So hopefully later on in the videos, we'll go ahead and throw the underbed notch or the C-notch clears it. We should be good with that. And also for the helper bags, we did go ahead and install everything. The only thing is that it's not wired up 100% because we are going to need custom brackets because the kit is made for the truck being stock and right now the high we mess with it so pretty much I have to order some custom brackets but everything's wired up and once i go get the notch or whatever they'll do the custom brackets there and then we should be set so with that being said let me know what you guys think down in the comment section what do you guys think about the job i think i made an absolute great choice it freaking it made the gmc pop out it looks 10 times nicer at least to me um go ahead and smash that like button if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe become a jerry ticket to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next vlog peace